Hey, 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 what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Diesel from Shades and Souls. Thank you guys for coming in to my channel to watch this video. Today, we're gonna have the real review for the New Balance Omnis. Now, what you say is a real review. Real review is when we talk about the performance of the shoes without no bias, no nothing, no bullshit. This is me telling you my experience with the shoe, not what I think about it, not what I heard about it, but what I personally experienced with the shoe. All right. So if you guys haven't followed me yet, make sure to follow me on my Instagram because I do post over there daily updates of the shoes that I am testing. I give you stories of what I'm currently doing. So you guys know I am personally testing these shoes out. All right, let's start off with the shoes, man. I'm I'm tired of talking. I want to talk about this one already. I don't want to talk about anything else. All right, first, we're going to talk about the things I don't like about the shoe. There's only two. There's only two. Number one is the fit. I'm like, when are all the shoe companies just going to go and meet up together and talk about having a universal fit? Okay, I had to go down half a size with this. This is not an eight half, this is a size eight. Like, come on, man. You guys are all doing the same products. We, we, they're all manufacturing basketball shoes and cannot get the size right. For all the size eights should be all size eights, like all the same size. All size eight halves should be all size eight halves, all in the same size. Like. Come on now. Wrong fit doesn't give you the right support and lock down the shoe is supposed to. Your feet, your foot inside the shoe is gonna be moving around. Luckily, I went a half size down and it was the correct sizing for me. Next is the midsole break in time. As you can see, fuel cell is the cushion that they're going with for the midsole right fuel cell rubber as you can see right here fuel cell is soft right see right here fuel cell is really soft when you look at here in the medial side there's nothing that's because the outsole extends to the medial side on the forefoot section but on the heel section, it's uncaged fuel cell, right? So everything around the shoe or the entire midsole is all exposed fuel cell except for this portion. And this portion you need to break in. I think I broke it in after about the fourth day. And that's actually pretty damn long already, okay? And the reason why I say it's damn long is because I normally last three to four hours playing. Four days, four times four or four times three, that's gonna be 12 hours altogether and you're telling me that's not enough or that's the time I need to give for this shoe to break in. Like, I get it, I get it. Like the main focus of this shoe is court feel court feel over cushion I'm not saying it doesn't have cushion it does have cushion I'm just saying you get great court feel with this but at the same time covering it with it with this one there's a good and bad effect to it and the bad effect happened to be the breaking time and I'll get to the good effect later on in the pro section Speaking of the pro section, like I said, I only had two gripes about the shoe, fit and the midsole break in time in the medial portion. So what, what do I like about the shoe? First, the upper material, fit weave. Bro, I am loving this material. This material is only comprised of mesh? Mesh? What? So it is mesh, but it's textile mesh. It's very breathable. It's very flexible, but very supportive at the same time. 
look at that look at how flexible that is and look at how like you can just feel how thick that is like you know that's gonna hold you down when you're even gonna move side to side whatever so that's one good thing I like about the shoe is the fit weave number two the support and lockdown of the shoe that's why when you get that's why it's very important to get the right sizing because if you don't you're gonna miss out on those areas the support and lockdown now when we talk about the support we're talking about one of the features of the support of this shoe is the heel counter this heel counter is huge huge and I mean huge it starts off from here curving down like that the entire way uh, I explained that in my unboxing video you guys need to check that out but if you get the right size you can feel that heel heel cup right there like really cup your Achilles uh, well, that's one good thing and then you got those heel pillows too at the same time and when I'm talking about lockdown in this shoe the forefoot is the height displacement from from where it's stitched all the way up here is not that high so what does that mean on your forefoot area it's already pressing down so you know you're getting that lockdown right and then I know to some people this may seem the mid uh, the midfoot rubber or sorry the midfoot strap this may seem like it doesn't have any use I will tell you right now bro the people that told you this is just for aesthetics did not get the right size I got a half size down I feel this like until the last day I've, I've, I've worn it which was today going to work um, so I, I wore this the last time today um, and I've had this shoe for about a month now um, yeah for about a month now so this one actually has a benefit this is not adjustable it's gonna keep pressing you down like sometimes I don't even tighten up my laces in this portion I, I tighten up here let it go a little bit right here let it go here and then tighten up again on this portion and in this portion because this is already pretty tight especially if you have that high arch in this portion I'm not talking about not talking about the medial arch I'm talking about bone right there raises if you have a high portion of that bro you're gonna feel this strap like I I will tell you right now you're gonna feel that and that's actually a good thing it may it may be bugging you the first three days fourth day and going forward you'll feel that support and it's not bugging you anymore okay so if there's any breakdown that you need or sorry break in time that you need to do for the upper it would be this because this will loosen up but just a little bit just enough for it to still support you third thing I like about the shoe the midsole it's the first time I've used fuel cell how does fuel cell feel fuel cell feels like in between light strike and bounce and why do I say that and I say that because it has very good energy return like there is no misstep with this you are not losing reaction time with this shoe but that's but that said that that only happens after you break this in and the reason why I really emphasize this was because the first couple of days with this bro I was having shin splints like yes there was a benefit to how hard this is but at the same time what's saving what's saving you is also how hard the traction is at the same time or this rubber because if it was just if this was just the rubber right here just the fuel cell you'd be having shin splints even the duration of the time so I was having shin splints because of trying to break it in and trying to break the outsole in I'm not talking about breaking it in for the traction to work I'm talking about breaking it in to make it flexible because this was really hard this was really hard so I had to break that in but once I did the fuel cell feels awesome 
And last but not the least, I already mentioned it, the traction. The traction on these are amazing. And I mean amazing. Clean quart, dirty quart, quart that has moist in it. You know, you know you got that one friend that hate that word, moist. And quarts that are really freaking dirty, like dust clogs and shit, like the 24 hour that I play in. This don't pick any quart. This is always in my gym bag since I got it because I know I can rely on the traction anytime, anywhere, any type of court. Now, like I said, because of how rigid and how hard this was, how firm this rubber is, that's why you have to break it in. But once everything is broken in, this portion, the midsole, the traction is broken in. And I'm not talking about traction gripping, I'm talking about traction just being flexible like that. Bro, this shoe is golden for 140 bucks. Now, I didn't really write the price on whether it was going to be a pro or a con because 140 bucks is like right there in the middle. But for New Balance to come up with another basketball shoe after years of not having made one and come up with this, this is golden, bro. This is golden. There you have it guys, that is my real review for the New Balance Ominous. Did you guys learn anything? Is this shoe a cop or a drop for you? Let me know in the comments section down below. Again, if you guys haven't done so yet, follow me on my IG, that's where I'm at. That's where I do my updates. You guys want real time updates. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support. It's your boy, Dizo, signing off. Peace out.